What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what is going to be a review of the new MAC Powder Kiss collection. They recently came out with 10 Powder Kiss eyeshadows. I have eight shades to review for you today. They sent me the eyeshadows that I have as well as all 17 of the new Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks. I've done a lot of swatching and my lips really hurt, but these are the things that we do for the love of makeup, right? So if you wanna see a review of all these things as well as a lot of swatches, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, I do wanna say the review is gonna be the first part of this video, and then I am gonna do a swatches only section for the lipsticks in the second part of this video. I'll put a timestamp down below so that you know when it starts in case you don't really care about me blabbing, you're just here to find your perfect shade. You can find that in the second part of this video. But for now, let's get into the review, first starting with the eyeshadows. So like I said earlier, there are 10 new shades of these Powder Kiss eyeshadows, which are supposed to be ultra matte velvety formulas. The shades that I have balance both with warm orangey tones as well as cooler more mauvey berry tones so a little bit of something for everyone in theory and I have to say it is overall a pretty nice formula especially for mattes that can sometimes be tricky especially for some of the shades that they've created like this one right here which is called work 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 it is a vibrant red sort of shade this is a hard one to get right in my opinion and they did it really really well I don't necessarily think that the rest of these shades are super unique or gotta have sort of shade. So unless you are missing like that crucial matte shade in your collection or you have an entirely textured palette maybe that you want a matte shadow to complement, these might be a good pick for you because they are a really pretty matte formula. I think they don't skip a ton across the lid unless you prime with like a stickier primer then I have noticed that these, I mean, along with any eyeshadow, you can get a little bit of that skipping pattern that you really have to blend to work through. But if you do have something like that, just lay down a powder, a sheer powder over top before you go in with these or any shadows to blend. That's just more of a general eyeshadow hack, I guess. If you have a sticky base that's making your eyeshadow skip during application, apply a translucent powder over top and it won't affect the lasting power of your eyeshadows, I haven't noticed, and it really only makes them blend easier. So with these and any eyeshadow you notice skipping a little bit, just go ahead and apply that translucent powder underneath. Uh, but either way, these apply really, really beautifully. They aren't dry, too dry or chalky. I mean, of course they are matte, so they are a little bit more dry feeling than like a really emollient, buttery, shimmer or glittery sort of shade. But for mattes, they are, they're pretty soft and smooth. Again though, I don't know that any of these shades are like unique enough to warrant going out and purchasing all of them, let alone a few of them, unless they are shades that you really feel that you lack or need more of in your collection. Now let's talk about the liquid lipsticks, which in my opinion, the Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks are the star of this launch. These come in a pretty, pretty typical liquid lipstick bullet. The applicator is pretty unique though. It has an hourglass shape with a rounded ball edge. So product accumulates in that hourglass shape, but I personally find that whatever comes off on that rounded head is basically all you need to get a decent application of this across your lips. Like all of these are so, so pigmented that a little bit goes a really long way. And the consistency, I said this in a recent video where I was using some new makeup, the consistency is like Cool Whip. It's like a whipped sort of topping that it, it that's how light and fluffy it feels on the lips. These are supposed to be powder mixed with some sort of emollient medium. And that's what keeps these looking matte and feeling comfortable and like suspended on your lips, as opposed to drying down to something really uncomfortable and crusty and just something you don't really, even though it will be long wearing, you don't want to be long wearing throughout the day. These are going for the matte finish, but still for the comfort. And I have to say, they accomplish that pretty, pretty well. Now, they aren't totally transfer proof. You'll be able to see, I have a quick video clip of me blotting this off on a, sub, like a paper towel. And you'll see that after a few blots, the transfer definitely gets better, but there's still a ton of pigment left on my lips. So past a certain point, if you blot enough, you will reach this balance between pigment left on your lips and no transfer, which is great, especially in these mask wearing days that we're in. You can make this relatively transfer proof if you blot it enough, but you're not sacrificing that pigmentation on your lips. But just know that right out of the tube, unless you are applying this with like a lip brush and really, really blending it in there, you're gonna
going to have a ton of product at first that just will transfer across various things. The shade range they launched is also super impressive to me. I think anyway, you have a wide range of hues, everything from the lighter side all the way to the deeper side, brights, muted tones, berries, warm tones. There's a little bit of everything in here for everyone. And I have to admit, when I first opened these up, the frosted packaging kind of throws me for a loop. All of these look much more muted through the tube than they actually come off on your lips in real life. So at first I was kind of looking at this like, there's not a lot of variety, but then when you actually dig into these and you see that there is like a vi bright, bright, vibrant, orange in this collection, you see that there's a little bit of something in here for everyone. And I gotta say, there wasn't one dud in the bunch. Like I, with this texture especially, not, I've never encountered a texture exactly like this, but across other formulas where they're supposed to be like moussey, lip stain sort of things, uh, sometimes you can run into like streakiness with the bright or deep colors. And I didn't notice that at all with these. Even when it come, when I do like mega swatch fests like this, where it's just one after the other on my lips. Sometimes formulas have trouble sticking to my lips are so well exfoliated after wiping them off. Uh, they have trouble. The pigment has trouble sticking to like the center of my top and bottom lips. And I didn't run into that with these at all. Um, in the beginning, I had some dry flakiness on my lips. They didn't cling to that in the end when I had nothing on my lips and they were feeling pretty raw. They didn't not stick or adhere to any of that. These are pretty evenly keeled formulas that seem like they're going to work on a lot of lips, no matter the, the kind of condition they're in, whether they're dry, textured, anything like that. So I think it's a very flattering and a very comfortable formula. And I found that to be the case for all of the shades that I tried here. So overall, I really like this formula. I think it's a super comfortable formula and there's pretty much a shade in here for everyone. Hello? I, I would agree that it's a really good formula. He agrees it's a really good formula. You see, you can't argue it's with really that. really solid. The formula is... 10 out of 10? Fantastic. How would how do you, as the recipient of kisses with this formula. How would you rate it? I, I could go without it. You could go without it? Okay, yes. that's, but would you say that about any lipstick formula? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, let's get into the swatches. <laughs> If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these lip swatch videos down in the comments below. And besides that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.
Oh, 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 oh,